In this tutorial, we're going to use uh, the definition to find the Laplace transform of f of t, which is equals to cosine of omega t. And given a function uh, f of t, which is defined for t greater than or equals to zero, the Laplace transform of uh, f of t, which we denote by f of s, is uh, the integral from zero to infinity of exponent of minus st times f of t and dt. But in this case, we are given our f of t there is a cosine of omega t, and we substitute it into the formula there where we have uh, f of t there, and uh, we obtain the integral from zero to infinity of exponent of minus st times cosine of omega t dt. So now looking at uh, that integral there, what we see is uh, it is a product of uh, two functions of uh, t, exponent of minus st and uh, cosine of uh, omega t. And to evaluate uh, such integrals where we have a product, we can use uh, integration by parts twice, or since we have a cosine there, we can make use of uh, Euler's formula. But either way, the method that you use, you will still get the same result. So you can go on and uh, try to solve for uh, this uh, using uh, integration by parts twice. But in this tutorial, uh, we make use of uh, Euler's formula. So what uh, Euler's formula gives us is uh, exponent of i omega t is a uh, cosine of omega t plus i sine omega t. And exponent of minus i omega t is a uh, cosine of omega t minus i sine omega t. And we can use uh, those uh, two equations uh, to write a uh, cosine of omega t. So when you add those two equations, we get that uh, 2 cosine omega t is uh, exponent of i omega t plus exponent of minus i omega t. And then we go on and uh, solve uh, for cosine omega t, and we get that uh, cosine of omega t is uh, exponent of i omega t plus exponent of minus i omega t divided by 2. So with uh, the cosine of omega t we have just obtained, we substitute it into the integral on the left there, and we get uh, the integral from 0 to infinity of exponent of minus st times exponent of uh, i omega t plus exponent of minus i omega t divided by 2 dt. And the next step now I can factor out uh, that half there since it's a constant and then I make use of uh, laws of exponents to combine those uh, exponents there. And uh, the result that we get is um, half multiplied by the integral from 0 to infinity of exponent of minus s minus i omega t plus exponent of minus s plus i omega t dt. So we now have uh, that integral. And we can look at that part there. And uh, when we integrate that part, uh, what we get is exponent of uh, minus uh, s minus i omega t divided by minus s minus i omega t. So that would be for the first part there, it will be half exponent of minus s i minus i omega t divided by minus s minus i omega. Then we put in the limits 0 to infinity. Then we move on to the next part there. When we integrate that part with respect to t, then multiplied by that half there, we get a plus a half exponent of minus s plus i omega t divided by minus s plus i omega. Then you put the limits as zero to infinity. So the next step now is now to put in our limits there and uh, looking at uh, the first one there, we put in our upper limit infinity and our lower limit and we get a half times the limit is t approaches infinity of exponent of a minus s minus i omega t divided by minus s minus i omega and then for the lower limit to be minus a half multiplied by exponent of minus s minus i omega times zero divided by minus s minus i omega and then we'll move on to the next part there. Put in those limits, our lower limit and upper limit, and we get i half multiplied by the limit as t approaches infinity of exponent of minus s plus i omega t divided by minus s plus i omega. Then for the lower limit, we have minus a half exponent of minus s plus i omega times zero divided by minus s plus i omega. 
Now we go on and uh, look at uh, that part there. As t approaches infinity, uh, that first part there approaches zero. And where we have the lower limit, where we have zero there, it will be exponent of zero. So we just remain with a one there. So that highlighted part becomes zero minus a half times one divided by minus s minus i omega. And then uh, for this part that I have just highlighted there, the limit as t approaches infinity there, it's a zero. And when you put exponent of zero there, we obtain a one. So that highlighted expression becomes zero minus a half multiplied by one divided by minus s plus i omega. So that is the expression that we have there. And we can uh, combine those two and uh, put them under a common denominator. And we obtain a half multiplied by 2s divided by s minus i omega multiplied by s plus uh, i omega. So that is the Laplace transform that we are having so far. And we can divide throughout there by 2. And we get uh, s uh, divided by s squared minus i omega squared. s minus i omega times s plus i omega is the one that gives us s squared minus i omega squared. But uh, i there is uh, an imaginary number. We know that uh, i squared is equal to minus 1. So if we substitute minus 1 there, our expression will now become s divided by s squared plus uh, omega squared. So what we are having there is uh, the Laplace transform of uh, cosine of omega t is s divided by s squared plus uh, omega squared.